Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the trending topic in our community, which is what happens when your order, uh, your Modern Masters 2017 order, pre-order is canceled. I've had a lot of experience with this because I, when I was doing speculation on cars like Voice, uh, Elspeth, Archangel, some of my orders got canceled just via volume. And the two attributes that I look at is, is the store a physical location? If it is not, it's just a digital store. The person can just close his eBay account, close his Amazon account, and just create a new one and then restock that way. And the reputation doesn't really matter. Uh, and two, does the store have good reviews? Do not order from some place that has no reviews. Do not order from some place that has five reviews. Do not order from some place that does not have a physical store location tied to it, unless its reviews are very good. So it's not like they need to have both. If it's someone on eBay and they have thousands of re reviews and it's all positive, then order from them because they're just a trustable source. If they don't have that many reviews, but they're Facebook page and they do a lot of magic on their Facebook page and it seems like they care about their reputation, then you can order from them. But if a person has, if a store does not have either one of these, then do not order from them. And that's why I see when people get greedy, they just want to get the cheapest price. They want to, they don't even know where they're buying their boxes from. Of course, your order is going to get canceled because it's a shady person from a shady online account with no reputation. It's logic. It is very sad and I don't condone it, but it's logical. If some an eBay seller with no reputation to really support themselves and they don't care about re reputation, if they get a product and they can initially sell it for 170, let's say, and now suddenly they can sell it for 220, yes, they will make an extra $50 because even if you leave a bad review, who cares? I'll, they will just start a new eBay account. Uh, that's the same with pre-ordering singles. A lot of times when you order a single and it spikes, they won't send it to you. But if you are from a trusted source and you care about your reviews, you care about your business, you will send it. But if you don't care because you don't have any reason to care, you can just start a new account, then you're not going to send it. So I see a lot of people ordering from these sources that like I would never even touch. I, would, I wouldn't say like, okay, cool, there's this online person and there's no reviews on them. Let me just give them my credit card. Like, wh why? Like, what? And now I'm surprised my pre-order got canceled. No, you should have known beforehand that there's a large probability that this crappy store that doesn't care about its reputation, because you know it doesn't care about its reputation, it doesn't have a Facebook page, or its Facebook page is not managed correctly. It doesn't have you know that many reviews on eBay or Amazon. You can tell if someone's going to send it by looking at the your buyer, right? If your buyer is Kid Icarus, I hate Kid Icarus, but he sends out. Because he does so at volume and he really cares about his uh, online reputation. He's an online only uh, vendor. So be smart. Like, just be smart about this. Be smart about who you buy stuff from. Ideally, you would buy from your local card game. And I know a lot of people are not going to do that because they're going to want the cheapest price. They're going to want the best price no matter where it comes from and just keep their fingers crossed. If you buy from your local card game, they will deliver 99% of the time because if they do not, you can just go to a different card game. I'm fortunate enough and Houston has a ton of card games. And that reputation, especially locally, it spreads like either good or bad. Most times in Magic Gathering, it's bad because people remember the bad more than the good. That would be my advice is just don't pre-order from a shady place. Like it's not difficult to identify, hey, this place doesn't have any reviews. Hey, this place has bad reviews. Hey, this place doesn't seem like a physical location that would really care about their reputation. Seems just like someone made an online account. Of course they will cancel. Like, what do you expect them to do? You expect them to deliver the box when you ordered at the cheapest possible cost at the 
just be careful. Like you have to realize that there's a lot of people in this space that don't care about Magic the Gathering. They don't care about the community. They don't care about the players. They only care about making a profit. When Magic Gathering is shipping cards to Ace Hardware, do you think Ace Hardware cares? You think that these hobby stores that sell trains, and my friend owns a hobby store that sells used video games that get these orders and buy Magic the Gathering really care about it? No, they just, just want to get rid of product. They want to sell product pre-ordering, which is very good for them because then they can pay off the inventory with your money and then just make a profit with no risk investment at all. And that's why they do pre-orders because on the store side, I'm going to get all this money I can get a box for $140. I'm going to get, let's say, $200. Then I will just, I already got $200. I will use the $200 I already received to pay off the you know, $140 I owe, and I'm guaranteed thousands of dollars of profit. No problem because it's already been paid for. And that's why pre orders are never going to stop. They're only going to grow because, from a store perspective, or if you own an Ace Hardware, it's just cash. Like you literally just receive cash. You already received the money. You already received, let's say, twenty thousand dollars, and now you need to pay an invoice for fourteen thousand. But since you already got the money, there's no risk. There's no danger. You just pay, it and then you get your six thousand dollars. Overall, I I do not condone people who uh, cancel boxes, but at the same time, they tend to be people who don't a own physical stores. B, have good reviews or any reviews or many reviews. And it should be logical when you look at a store that you're ordering from that you're going to give them your credit card that you're going to put down deposit on. Like, is this a legitimate store? That would be my first question. Uh, and if it's not, then why would you pre-order from them? Because they will cancel. Uh, they will cancel 100% of the time. I mean, Because they are an Ace Hardware store. They are the dude running the ace on the back counter and somehow he's got like a WPN or something. It happens more often than not. My friend, again, he owns a huge video game store and he had no interest in Magic Gathering, but a distributor randomly approached them and said, hey, you know, I want you to sell Magic Gathering. And um, there was another product at the time, Kai Judo, which he bought Kai Judo, which was terrible. But anyway, bye guys.